So yeah, I know that it's been a while. I have not had my tablet in a few days. Um, because I was having it worked on. Because something was wrong with the charger or whatever. Um, I did not really plan what I was going to talk about, so... I hope y'all can hear me over my birds, because I have them covered up, but hair is still not being quiet, and I think the reason for that is I still have my light on, but if I do not have my light on, then y'all would not be able to see me. I know this is a little close, but I'm trying to get it as close as I can so that y'all could hear me good. Um... So, I guess I will talk about, I guess I'll talk about my schizophrenia. I made a video that was 20 minutes long, but it turned out that for some reason my tablet would not let me put it on YouTube because of the fact, I guess it was too long. So yeah, um, I was diagnosed with. I think it's pronounced borderline personality schizophrenic. Those are two different things, but yeah. Um. Sorry. Um. I have hallucinations. Oops, they don't come as often as I did when I was 14. I'm not 18. Um. Yeah, it's going to be hard to stay on topic because I am schizophrenic, so I could give it a try. Um, I hallucinate, um, yeah. My hallucinations can differ, I guess. Um, I learned how to separate what's real, so say, and what's not. Um, like I said, I did not plan to make this video, so I plan to make a video, but not what it's there for to talk about. So yeah, um, I now know that there's a lot of people who know about schizophrenia, and there's not really a lot of videos that I could actually say. That's actually coming from a schizophrenic. So I figured I'd make one. So that you know what it's like actually living every day. Like on a day to day basis basically. Um it's not really much different than I guess being a normal as a lot of people will call it person. Um I quit school, well, basically I quit school when I was 14 because I just never went back because no one understood me, like, there was one time at school that I did not know this until my IFP slash therapist that came to my house when I was 14 told me. So I can only tell y'all what I was told, like, I don't have any memory of this whatsoever. Um, that's the thing with schizophrenia, you, when your personalities, so to say, come out, um, you, you don't really have, you don't know what's, you don't know. What happened? I mean, 
you don't even know that they're out. It's like going from one second to the next, and then only to find out that it wasn't a second. I guess that's what you could say. And it, depending on how long they were out, the time had passed basically. Anyway, I was in school for a few years, they said, which is my biology. They just tried to pull me out. Like, I've never been a bad student. I've never had to be pulled out of the classroom or anything. This is how they found out I had schizophrenia, which it does run in my family. Um, on both sides of my family. My dad's mom and my mom's mother's sister has it. Um, I was at school, they pulled me out, I don't know what we talked about because I don't have a memory of it. Excuse me. Um, and then for some reason or another, they had to call the school psychologist, which the school, the high school I went in, which is what grade I was in at the time. I mean, high school, ninth grade. Um, my school had a hospital and everything built into it. Um, I don't. I never met my psychologist, psychologist at the school or whatever. I don't know if it was a he or she. I don't know what he talked about don't ever remember meeting him. Never met him after that either. I know of. Um. Yeah. They. They showed me a, p a test. A few tests that I've done. Where. I had. Wrote someone else's name on it. And. I don't ever remember writing or taking those tests. Um, one that's comes a lot with it, I don't really feel like comfortable talking about my one act, I guess you could say, because I don't, I'm not proud of it, but I I won't say blacked out, but it's not really blacking out, because I remember when I do it. And as hard as I try not to, I just, I get so overwhelmed. Over nothing, no fun, over nothing. Um, I got, I basically almost gave them their concussion. I thrown sparks at my mother's eyes. I guess I'm lucky that she wears glasses. Um, yeah. I, I don't say stab, but I didn't really stab. I just pointed the knife at his heart. And I may have bleed a little bit, but that's about it. And that happened twice, back to back. My fiance. Um. Some people could say you could tell when one of my personalities comes out because supposedly something about my eyes change some way or another, I don't know. Um, I've been told my voice changes, but I don't really know if it does or not. Um, it's like sometimes it's just really hard. Um, let's say I hallucinate, I don't know about how many times daily, it used to be all day, throughout the whole day, like I was hallucinating more than I was not, and I guess that's still the case, because I zone out, but when I zone out, I zone out multiple times throughout the whole day, and there was just no trigger to me zoning out that I'm aware of, 
I just zone out, but when I zone out, I don't think or hear anything. It's just the fact, basically, I zone out. All I see, I just see basically no, a blank white space. I don't remember thinking anything. I don't remember doing anything. So, I can, I can zone out in conversations that I'm interested in, you know, just it. Sometimes my fiance or someone else have to pull me out of it. Like I don't realize I'm in it. Um. Yeah, I think that's about all. I'm gonna let y'all go. If y'all have any questions, then don't be afraid to comment. I'll answer it to the best of my ability. Love you. Just wanted to let, wanted to let the ones who do have it know that you're not alone. Because I help some.